All right, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to make over a thousand five hundred flipping this Toyota Prius. It literally just got delivered to me today from Copart from the auction. It wasn't a side accident. I already got the fender. I got that before it arrived. So I'm planning to finish off this car in one day. All right. So anyways, let me show you how it's done. So there's the damage up close. I'm about to replace it right now. Here's the fender I got only two hundred and eight dollars. And that should be it. Let me do the time lapse and let's get to work. So I replaced the fender. It was super easy. And that's literally all I did. Literally. That's it. That's it. The fender is done. I'm going to show you right after I show you this. I did uh, insert wires. And basically it just resets the, the steering sensors. It resets it. That's a, a good way to do it. And I found a guy on YouTube. I'll pop it up on the screen. And he said one of the early symptoms of a bad battery is uh the traction control light being on the brake light the abs light and um uh, whatever that light is so i'm gonna use something called dr prius i'm gonna go ahead and connect it this is my final results then i'm gonna be seeing every cell uh inside the block and hopefully everything is healthy let me go ahead and show you the fender all right so here's the fender it is done body work is done but right now my main concern is that damn hybrid battery and the lights on the dash all right so so far, is this is day two now. Let's see what I could do. All right, so I am gonna be using uh, this blue driver and Dr. Prius. You do need a Bluetooth one. You can't do it with the traditional ones that you have. You just hook up with these nice snap-on ones. There's other ways to do it, but this is the easy way, easiest way to know if your cells are bad inside your hybrid battery. All right, I finally figured it out, man. So turns out. Uh, the blue driver that I was using does not work with Dr. Prius. I was looking through it and it was saying all the other scanners that doesn't work with them and one of them was blue drivers. So if you guys are out there that are watching this video and have the same issue, don't use the blue driver, all right? I'll pop it up on the screen the ones you can use when you do have this issue to diagnose a bad hybrid battery, all right? So when I was driving it, the battery did charge with no issues. I was able to get rid of all the ABS lights, the traction control, the VSC. I don't even know what the other one is called. But I figured it out. All by doing is just uh, switching out the fuse, all right? So just pop up the, the fuse, right? And I look at the fuses. And you see the, the 28 ABS main number one. I did see a 20 amp spare. And I popped it in right there because I noticed there wasn't one there. I was like, and I was like, okay, well, let's pop it in. Should be fine, all right? We should be good. We're ready for some pictures today. Yeah. So you can see, look, no lights, no lights. Hell yeah. I'm just so happy, y'all. All right, I just finished with this car. The fender is replaced. All the ABS lights are off. Now, the last thing is, is to drive this thing and take some pictures, clean it up, vacuum it, make it look pretty, and that's literally it, all right? You guys saw everything I did. It was a little bit of a trouble uh, to get rid of those lights, but you know, you just got to keep diagnosing things until you finally crack down to the final solution. All right. The final solution for me was going to be like, damn, I have a bad hybrid battery, but I am good. It was just missing a fuse. All right. But please leave a like, subscribe, hit the share button, hit the bell, do everything. Show some love guys. You can get all your cars from Copart and IAA. Just search it up on a website, go on Google, Copart brokers, but I recommend just calling your local mom and pops dealerships and call them and be like, hey, I'm looking to bid on some cars. What's your broker fee? I wanna go into business with you guys or something like that, all right? Some of them are gonna charge you from 300 to 200, from 400. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to help you guys out. Literally, it's all you gotta do, all right? And for the parts, I didn't mention that. All you gotta do is use car-parts.com, all right? So there's a website where you can check all your local junkyards and auto parts stores, like Mama Pops Auto Parts stores, and uh, they have an inventory of all the cars that they have there. And you just got to make sure you type in the model, year, and everything on that website. And you should see everything that's in stock. You give them their phone number. And the best thing is, is like everything is going to be within like a 10-mile radius. You can customize it or like a 5-mile radius. So it's going to be super close to you. So you're able to grab like a front, bump, a front bumper, a fender, a headlight, a door. That's, that's at least how I've been doing it. But it's literally all you do, right? Anyways, I'll say it again. Like, subscribe, hit the share button, hit the bell. I see you guys with this car sold. And let's go, go, go. All right, the car sold for a profit of 1,000. 
$500 and it sold in two weeks and a half all right so wasn't a bad deal this will be i believe my third sale of the month and i am six thousand dollars profit in to the month all right so an amazing profit in this month my plan is uh 10k all right but it's okay i'll take 6k all day all right so guys please stay tuned for the next upcoming videos it is super easy to scale up to 10k all you got to do is just create a formula a well a successful formula and how to make those numbers with copart and iaa and of course i hear a lot of people in my comment section can i do it with facebook and all that stuff you can but i don't recommend it all right it's honestly better doing it with copart and iaa because if you're able to find a broker or just find a good relationship with uh you know at a dealership that's mom and pop's own and just tell them how much the broker fee maybe 200 maybe 300 whatever you need to pay and make sure that you're able to flip cars through them and you guys should be good, all right? So please uh, DM me my Instagram if you wanna know a little bit further in detail on how to do that exactly because, you know, there's ways to do it, all right? But yes, that's how I do it. That's how I flip the cars. That's how I made 1,500. All I did is just replace the fender, all right? Wasn't hard. I, I wasn't like this, no offense, I swear, all right? No offense. I'm not like these Facebook car flippers switching out the engine or, you know, playing with all sorts of stuff and like ripping out the seeds and shampoo washing them. Okay, cool. Yeah, they do make 3K or whatever, but like they literally have to break their back, all right? This way is a lot more scalable. I promise you're going to love me for it, all right? Copart, IAA, all you do is just fix a little fender, boom, take some quick pictures, post it online. I, honestly, I could have made a little bit more if I got in cheaper, all right? You guys are able to find cheaper deals. I got a decent price. That's how it goes, especially if you're going full time. You're going to have to deal with certain prices. I'll be like, all right, I'm willing to dedicate a little bit more money into this just because I need to make a sale this month, all right? Because this is what I'm doing full time. I live off of this money, all right? So, anyways, I spoke a little bit too much, a little bit longer outro than usual, but please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the share button, do everything, show some love, guys. I finally got a real camera, by the way. So, guys, the quality is going to step up from here on, all right? Anyways, I see you guys next time. Peace.